So um, my project is called BioIT Community Blogs, but when I was writing my case study, I thought that was a boring name and I came up with a new name, which is called Sto Digital Storytelling for Open Culture. Um, so where, what I uh, work as is community outreach coordinator, which is basically a community builder uh, for a bioinformatics community in my organization. I have no formal education in community building. I'm a researcher. And that was one of my motivation why I wanted to join uh, this Mozilla Culture Track. I learned about it uh, through a friend on Twitter. Twitter is an amazing resource for all the important things that happens in my life. Um, and at that point, uh, I was reflecting on how my community looks like, basically, literally how it looks like. So when I looked around, there were people who were extremely expert in bioinformatics, and all of them were white male. I didn't have a lot of females in my communities, and I didn't have anybody else, people of color or people from LGBTQ community, which are very active in my campus. So I started to ask myself, is this the community that I want to lead? Is this the community that I want to really work? Uh, it's not that I hate my experts, I love them, but I really wanted to involve people who were missing in my room. So the easiest way was to assume what they need, but the hardest way was to really figure out what they need. Um, and this is what became my project in Mozilla. Um, I decided to actually ask I, uh, in the form of storytelling. A digital storytelling is a tool that allows people to share certain aspects of their personal story using any digital uh, content. It could be blogs, podcasts, video, stills, any form. And why storytelling was important for me is that because I could go to people personally and ask them what they think about their participation and role in the community. Uh, what values can we create for them to participate? Do they feel that they don't have the amount of support that they need? And we realized that this would vary from people to people. We were working with people who work with different group leaders with varying level of support. Uh, they have different priorities. Of course, they can't invest time in things which is not directly applicable to their work. So I started my project with a community assessment survey. I did not get a lot of response. I've got 40 responses and a few of them were quite uh, resistant towards giving information about why I, I would want to know their gender, why would I want to know about what specific information do they need from me, which I understood uh, through the process of uh, Mozilla of diversity and inclusion that it's okay to, for people to resist and it's okay for people to not give you information that they don't want to. However, it was different when I started to talk to people individually. By talking to people individually, I actually got two people who are interested in my project and would like to help me. Um, then second thing that I did was organize a full day networking and skill building event on the International Women's Day. And we called it Day for She because it wasn't just supposed to be about women, but we also wanted to highlight our uh, other members in the community. And it was quite helpful for people to join this networking event because our day was divided into a small one or two hour session. So it didn't require them to uh, sacrifice their full working day. So they could just jump in, take a GitHub course and go back, come back and do a storytelling course and go back, uh, meet people, have a beer and go back. It was really nice. And I had never done that when I got 70 people coming to this uh, event and they all shared my concern. And they all showed interest in sharing their own story. So which was nice. So I got this pool of people who really want to share stories with me. And now the second thing, the next thing would be is to now really hear their story. In last four months, I have not been able to collect a lot of stories. I have been able to only share my ideas of story. So this Mozilla Sprint comes in the right time. So uh, luckily, May is the month where I have a bit of quietness, which I want to completely use with the sprint. Um, and I was sharing these ideas with a lot of you and all, all of you, not all of you, people who I talk to showed interest in also being interviewed. And the idea of being interviewed is to create relatable content uh, in, in the sense that people are missing in my community, but they are beyond my own community. They are there in my screen. and if I can gain stories from you, which can be relatable for other people, 
that would have huge influence. And I'm saying it because I wish I had some relatable stories when I was uh, doing my research. Um, so this would be my next step is to actually create the momentum through this uh, sprint, uh, collect as much story as possible, try to understand the pattern, try to really figure out what people need. Um, how I'm trying to stay connected with Mozilla, it would be a shame if I leave. Uh, so I would definitely want to come to MozFest. I would in some, at some point of my life uh, apply for Mozilla's fellowship because it sounds like a great opportunity. I also want to give back. So I hope I can find a way to give back to the community. And um, I would say hello to anybody who shares my love for Mozilla. A few special mentions I want to do is uh, two things that I absolutely loved. And if the culture track has to go on, this thing has to stay, is the mountain of engagement and personal ecology. I cannot repeat more. I have been part of so many communities, but this is the first time I ever heard, and it's so important. It actually changed the way I expect people in my community to work, and I have started to really personally care about who's actually wasting their time and things that, that could be used somewhere else. And finally, Caleb, who's on the call, who's my mentor uh, actually interviewed with me yesterday uh, and I'm really excited about editing it which would be my first uh, template for people who would want to get involved so if you are interested I'll be very happy to talk to you awesome thanks Malvika uh, last but not least we have Susie 